Are there three types of ADHD? Explained by Russell Barkley. We don't recognize three kinds of ADHD anymore. Uh, and the DSM-5 published uh, six years ago makes that very clear. Uh, ADHD varies from moment to moment, from year to year, in which of the two dimensions of symptoms are likely to be most problematic. So you can have a hyperactive presentation, but that can move on in a couple of years to be a combined presentation. And as that person grows up, the hyperactivity decreases and it becomes an inattentive presentation. Still the same disorder. Uh, there, there are very few differences across these presentations, and indeed, most people go through all three of them. So we don't recognize subtypes of ADHD mm -hmm. any longer that are qualitatively different. It's a single disorder in the population that has two highly related symptom dimensions. People almost always have both symptom dimensions, but there is a subset of individuals who only are inattentive and who never in their life had difficulties with impulsivity or hyperactivity or self-regulation problems. And while people continue to call that inattentive presentation, I know clinicians call it ADD, they shouldn't. ADD is the original name for ADHD from 1980, so that's just confusing. Uh, what we have recognized is that about half of these inattentive only people who never had any impulse control problems have a new attention disorder called sluggish cognitive tempo that you can read about on my website under the fact sheets. You can go to YouTube and see several recent presentations I've made on this other attention disorder. It's very different from ADHD, but it is almost always misdiagnosed as ADHD inattentive presentation. Uh, it is not treatable the way ADHD is with the same treatments. Uh, and there are many other differences I don't have time to go into here.